Hello and welcome back to our YouTube channel. I am Cynthia Ortiz and today we will be focusing on addition number sentences. So before we get into it, let's look at some vocabulary to help us better understand. Number one says addition number sentence. So here I have provided an addition number sentence. This is an expression that uses numbers, addition sign, and equal sign, okay? So here I have four plus three equals seven. I have my numbers, my addition sign, and my equal sign. Number two, sum. Sum is the answer to an addition problem. So if I have four plus three equals seven, the answer to four plus three equals seven. Therefore, seven is our sum. Plus. Plus is the sign we use for adding. So if you can see, I have it up here. When I see this sign, I know that I have to take my part and part and put them together to make the whole. Equals. So here I have an equal sign. You can see it up here as well. This just means that this has the same value as this. If I have four gummy bears in one hand and three in the other, I can put them together and that's seven. It's the same amount as seven. So now we are going to form an addition number sentence using the picture above, okay? So here's the story. At the park, there are three apple trees. There is also one fruitless tree. How many trees are there in all? So, what do we already know? We already know that there are how many apple trees? Three. Good. So I'm going to write my first part here on my first line. How many fruitless trees do I have? One. Good. So there's my other part. And remember, when I'm talking about in all, what operation do I have to do? Do I add or subtract? Add. Good. It's taking part, part, putting them together to make a whole. So plus, I have three plus one, and this is equal to, or the same value as what? Let's hold up a fist and say three, and we're gonna jump up one. Okay, ready, go. Three, four, very good. So that means that three plus one equals four. And four is called my sum. It is the answer to this addition problem. So let's look at another example. I have one, two, three, four, five apples on my plate. So I'm going to write five, okay, for my first part. And I also have one, two, three, four clusters of grapes. So I'm going to write four. Now I want to know how much fruit I have in all. So what am I going to do? I heard the words in all. That means I'm going to add. So let me go ahead and put my plus sign. So I have five plus four equals what? So remember, we count up by holding a fist and saying five and jumping up four fingers, okay? Ready? Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Very good. Counting up four fingers gave me a total of nine. So five plus four equals nine. This is another example of an addition number sentence. So let's look at another example. I have four red balloons. I have two blue balloons. How many balloons do I have in all? So let's go ahead and write our first part. We're going to focus on the red balloons. I have one, two, three, four. So let's write four in our first part. And two blue balloons in our second part. So, in all means to take part and part and make it a whole, so that is add. I am going to put my plus sign for that. So, four plus two equals, what's four plus two? Go ahead and say four and count up two. Four, five, six. Your answer is six. This is also called the sum. Very good. Okay, so now let's create an addition number sentence using a word problem. So the word problem says, 
Lucy ate three slices of pizza. Billy ate two slices of pizza. How many slices did they eat in all? So what I have to do is first circle what I already know. I know that Lucy ate how many slices of pizza? Three. Good. So I'm going to circle three slices. Billy ate two slices of pizza. How many slices did Billy eat? Two. Good. So let's go ahead and circle that. How many slices did they eat in all? Now, I like to underline my question to really focus on it. And I know that in all means what? What does in all mean? It means to add. So I'm going to put a plus sign right next to it to remind me. So let's write our two parts, okay? I have three and I have two. Three and two. What am I doing with three and two? I'm adding them. Good. So I'm going to put my plus sign right here. Three plus two equals, what is three plus two equal? So three, four, five. Okay, very good. Three plus two equals five. So this addition number sentence represents this problem. So let's look at another word problem. It says, there are nine birds eating seeds. One bird is resting on a branch. How many birds are there in all? Okay, so let's circle what we already know. How many birds are eating seeds? Nine, good. So let's circle nine birds. It says, one bird is resting on a branch. How many birds are resting on a branch? One. Good. So circle one bird. How many birds are there in all? That is my question that I want to know. So I'm going to underline it. Now remember, we've said it before that in all means to add. So let's go ahead and put our plus sign. So let's put our different parts. We have nine and we have one. So let's write nine and one. And what am I going to do with these two numbers? Add. So nine plus one equals, I have nine and I jump up just one. So ready? Nine, 10. Very good. Nine plus one is 10. 10 is the sum of nine plus one. Very good job. So this word problem says, in the parking lot, there are two red cars. There are two black cars. How many cars are there in all? So what I want to do is first circle what I know, right? I know that there are how many red cars? Two, good. Two red cars. How many black cars are there? Two as well, very good. So let's go ahead and write our two parts where they belong, two, and two, and I want to know how many cars there are in all. How many cars are there in all? And in all means to add. So let's put our plus sign down here. We are going to do two plus two equals what? So go ahead and hold up a fist and say two, and we're gonna jump up two more. Ready? Two, three, four. Very good. Four is the sum of two plus two. Two plus two equals four. It is the same value. So the last problem we are going to focus on says, Tommy has eight pennies. He has four dimes. How many coins does he have in all? So circling what I know, I know that there are how many pennies? Eight, good. How many dimes? Four. Good. So we circled our two parts and now we're going to bring them down. Eight and four. How many coins does he have in all? If I want to know in all, I'm going to add, right? Add the two different parts. We're putting them together to make a whole. So eight plus four 
equals, okay, so go ahead and make a fist, say eight, and count up four. Ready? Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, very cool. So he has twelve coins. We added part plus part equals our whole. Another word for whole is sum, okay? Very good. So that concludes our lesson for today on addition number sentences. I hope that you found this video very useful. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more learning videos. Thank you. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.